everybody, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I have a couple of Dollar Tree hauls here to do. They're kind of large, so I'm going to do them separately. I got a some other hauls to show you guys. I just, since I've been feeling a little bit better, I've been getting out a little bit, and I just have withdrawals from not crafting and not doing any shopping or anything. So I'm excited to be out in the real world again and being able to do stuff. So I feel like my camera's crooked. It doesn't look crooked, but I don't know, for some reason I feel like I'm crooked. But if I am, please just ignore it. So anyways, let's get started on this Dollar Tree haul. First, I got one of these book bins, they call it. But what I use these for is to store my 8.5 by 11 paper. It's not big enough for the 12 by 12, but the 8.5 by 11 or, to, you know, store um, uh, little packs of paper or something. These are really nice. I haven't seen these for a while. I saw them and, um, with last year, and then I didn't see them again. And I saw this one. They did have some other colors, but this color is what I have my craft room um, designed around. So I only found one, so I only picked one up. If you watch my hauls, you know that um, last year I picked up some. It's weird to say last year, but we are in February, so it is last year most of the stuff I'm, I got. Um, I found some of these party uh, tablecloths. And... They're nice because these are actually completely covered. You know, a lot of their tablecloths, the top is just plain, and then they have like a trim with the design. But these say Celebrate, uh, Freedom, Sparkle. Uh, it says this has the stars in it and stuff like that. I found three of them. Now, I found some of these before when I was shopping last year. First time I'd ever seen these, I think I got these. And I think I even got one that had the American flag on it. I haven't found any more of those. But I wanted to pick these up. They had three, so I grabbed all three because I couldn't remember how many I got. And I got these to make a 4th of July wreath. This is great to have outside and stuff because um, it can stand up to the weather. They're very inexpensive to make. So I got three of these. The next thing I got was, well, my husband saw these and I was looking for the round foam wreath forms. I don't even know. Well, I guess they're kind of race form, but the styrofoam form, circle forms, and we couldn't find those. We found one at second store, but it was damaged. But anyways, he found these heart ones, and he was like, oh, look, I found hearts. So I took them. Uh, there was a bunch of them just because, you know, he, he brought them all the way over there to me, and I'm always making something like this. This could be used for many different things, not just for Valentine's Day. So... I picked up two of these. I don't usually buy pictures from Dollar Tree uh, just because I kind of feel like, a lot, well you can, you can, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? You can kind of uh, renew them and make them look better than what they do from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think some of them, they look like they were from the Dollar Tree. So I don't buy a lot of them, even though there's some really cute pictures they have. But this, these two, I couldn't pass up because I actually have Live, Love, and Let, oh no, this is, I think I have Live, Love, and Let. I have a really nice um, picture frame that is similar to this, but not from Dollar Tree, in our vanity area. And so I thought these would be really cute to go with it. So this one says, live every moment, love all, with all your heart, laugh every day. And it's the patterns that I think match. I'll try to take a picture. I'll try to remember to take a picture of the one that I have. I think this, this will go with it. And it has the hanger on the back, so that's nice. And then this one also has four patterns. They're different. But it says, home is where love resides, memories are created, friends always belong, and laughter never ends. And I thought that was really cute, too. Now, these are two different frames, and they're actually, they're similar in color, but they are different. So I will be painting these frames and um, so that they match. One's like a copper, one's like a brown. And then I got a little bow for Bella for St. Patty's Day for her picture. I got these placards, and these are something when I got my teeth cleaned last time, my hygienist um, gave me some of these, 
And these are really nice because, I don't know about you, I hate if any teeth is in between my teeth. So I carry floss in my purse and stuff, but you can't really sit somewhere and flush your teeth. And even if you're in the bathroom, if someone walks in, you know, it's kind of, they look at you like, oh, you're gross or whatever. But, um, so I thought these would be perfect because they're little dental brush brushes and you can just take it and discreetly, if you're in the bathroom or something, discreetly, you know, get the to the food out of in between your teeth. So, and they're perfect to go in your purse. And I thought they were one-time use, but it says just rinse the brush after each um, use. I don't know. For a dollar for four, I'll probably just throw them away. Then I found some Easter ribbon, and uh, I had different ones. I have this one that is like a, kind of like a peachy pink or something, but it's got Easter eggs all around it. I don't know if you guys, if it's going to focus for you, but it's got Easter eggs. This one here has, it's blue and, you know, this, these are like pastel colors. That's why, that's a pink. This is a blue and it's got bunnies all around it. And then this one here is purple, and it says Happy Easter. I said, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what it says. And then I found this, which I haven't seen before, but it's a stencil brush from Jot. And I got that, because you can always use a stencil brush. I picked up three of these love signs. They, oops, oh, there's a thing here too. They did have, um, have them in red. But I really like the white. Um, I thought these were cute. But anyways, I'm going to paint over them. So I guess it really didn't matter. But I thought the white would be better to cover up just the red letters instead of the red with the white letters. So um, I'm thinking about doing a project with these. I'm going to see. But I had a hard time finding them. Actually, I can't really find Valentine stuff at all right now as far as signs and stuff goes. So I finally found this at a store after going, I don't remember if we went to two or three stores. We were going to go to another one, I know that, and it got late, we had to come home and feed the boys and Bella, so we didn't go to that one. But my husband said, we'll go to that one, probably on his days off, we'll go out there, because I think it's out in, it's out in Plantation. So I'm gonna go that one, it looked like a big one, so we'll see. Here you saw these signs, this one says, love has four paws, really cute pause is here but it's upside down and then this one says love breaks all things or I'm sorry love bears all things believes all things hopes all things endures all things and I got these to do a craft with but I did not get the other piece I need to make the craft so I have to do that I got some pots. They they had new pots at least. Um, I haven't seen these around so, and they seem to be the like um, Easter colors, like spring colors and stuff. But these are six and a quarter by five point six two five inches, and they had a couple different colors. But I thought this was really cute in the light blue. Um, so I'm going to um, do a craft with these two. I think I'm going to use these to do topiaries or something. I just have to find the rest of the pieces because for some reason I've had the worst luck finding anything at Dollar Tree that I need for the projects I want to make. I have cloth drops. I have several bags of these. I would go to the store, open them up, and take some out. And then when I paid for them, they threw them in the bag. I forget. We go to another store. I start coughing again, so I buy another bag. But that's okay because I've been sucking on these like their candy or something. Um, I just can't get rid of this cough. Uh, then I found, uh, oh wait, let me get these out so it don't drop and break. I got these two pots, two of these small ones, and um, I have an idea of something I want to do with these, but I'm not sure yet. But while I saw them, I thought, let me pick them up. Okay, then I found these Easter sheer ribbons, and these are two and a half inches wide by three yards, and they're like a glittery with the silver um, edges, wired edges, but they're pink and glittery. I got two in pink. I got two in glittery blue. 
And then I got two in glittery purple. And these I'm going to use for my Easter wreath, so I needed to get, um, pick up some ribbon for Easter. Okay, now, oh wait, let me end that done here. I have so many bags here from different hauls. I'm trying to make sure I get them all in the right haul. So I got four of the white mesh. Well, I could find those because the mesh sometimes has just been hard to find in some stores. And then I stocked up on the red. I have what? I have, I'm going to put them in here. Two, four, six, seven. I have seven of the red. And the reason why I got this, I know I got some when they were on clearance at Christmas time, but I picked up more because all the red I see everywhere has the gold threading through it the metallic thread, and I do not care for the gold. I want just the red. So when I saw these in just red, I picked them up, so that's why I stocked up on those, and then I have the other, because red seems to be a popular color for um, for wreaths and stuff. It seems like even if you just do a, a little touch of it, it seems to somehow always creep in on the wreaths. So let me check my receipt. I know I got some other things over here, but I think that is it. Well, I'm missing something. I don't know where it's at. I bought a package of dowels, so I don't know if it got put somewhere else, if I didn't get them or what, but I did get charged for them. Um, okay, so at the first store we went to, they had a bunch of new baskets. This is one of them. And I did take a picture, which I'll insert. I took a picture of the aisle that has the different colors, but I love this teal color. So, and look at this basket design on here. I hope you're able to see that. Look at that. Let me, hold on. Let me get one of those sticker things and see if it's white on the back. Yeah, it's white on the back. So here I can kind of show you. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty design on there? Real nice basket weave. These are new. I haven't seen these at all. And they only had, they had what, four of these. And they're a good size. I don't think they tell you the size on these. No, they don't tell you the size. But these are perfect for my craft room. And I have the shelves and stuff. And I thought, you know, my, um, my racks that I can put stuff in here and it's all contained. I don't have to worry about it falling off. And then if I need something, I just grab it and pull the basket out. So this, um, I could put like my clear stamps in, stuff like that. I don't know. I have organization problems in there right now that I need to take care of. So um, I said I got, what, four of these? I thought I got more. Wait, one, two, three, four. I got five of these baskets. And then I found these also at that store. And these have the same basket weave. And these are rectangular. I was, wish I could find more of these. I would have bought these instead of the round ones. But I couldn't find them. And of course they don't have the size either. But here I'll show you in comparison the difference in them. But like I said, I really, here's a bottom to maybe give you a better idea. I wish they had more of this rectangular one because it's perfect to go in and it pretty much goes all the way down. It slants in just a little, but not a lot. Some of the bins, you know, they really slant down. So you lose a lot of space at the bottom to be able to put, you know, straight items in there. But this would be perfect. Um, I need something to like put like my spray paint in and stuff on the shelf so it's not falling off. So... These are going to be perfect for that or whatever I decide to do with them. Like I said, I need to really organize my craft room and I hope I find more of these because I love this design and the baskets even feel a little bit thicker than the others. It could just be my imagination, but they do and I like how they're kind of, you can see through them. So if you're looking for something, like I have some of the ones that slant down and they're solid. They have like the holes on, the, on two sides to pick them up but you can't see what's in there, so you have to pull each one out. I actually have that like in my um, kitchen on my pantry racks in there, and you can't see what's in there. And I know some people, they tie little tags onto them and stuff. I just don't have time to be doing stuff like that. So um, this is really nice to have this. If I find a color that maybe I could use in my kitchen, like for this, that would be really pretty. 
but um, I think they were like purple, the blue, the teal, and gray, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said, I already, I'll post a picture and let you see what I got. And um, let me put this back so it doesn't get ruined. And I think that is it. Oh, I take that back. Hold on. There's another basket. It had stuff in it. So I got another one of these baskets. And let me see. I think... I think that's it from this haul. So I'm going to stop this one here and I'll do the other one separate. Um, like I said, I don't remember if we went to two or three different stores. I want to say two, but uh, I could be wrong. I do have a lot of bags here for just two stores, but that doesn't surprise me. So, so I'm going to end this video here. If you haven't already, please click that like button and hit that subscribe button. And then when you do, hit the bell so you're always notified when I post a new video. It helps me out if you guys like my video or leave a comment or subscribe to me and stuff. It helps YouTube know that um, you know I'm making videos that you like to see. And it helps me get my videos uh, promoted through YouTube. So I really appreciate that. And thank you to those that have subscribed to me already. And do always like my videos and leave a comment. I really appreciate your support. So until next time. Bye everyone.